we're here today to uh, celebrate the signing of the contract for the construction of the replacement mast at Billsdale and uh, to also recognise the importance of the fact that a significant element of the construction spend is taking place within the region served by the Billsdale Mast itself. The Billsdale Mast project is really important for Severfield PLC. It's really important for us that we're seeing investment in the north. We have multiple sites right across the north um, and we've got engineers and designers and our broad project teams working on this particular project. We're specialists in large scale structures. Um, we've built many things um, of which this is one of the tallest structures that we have been involved in. We are using local contractors and local suppliers, for example, a concrete supplier very close by in North Allerton, and we're using that supplier deliberately in terms of the, the impact, the positive impact that it has on the sustainability uh, of the environment. The total constru construction cost of the new mast, which includes, of course, uh, the preparation of the site, uh, the fibering, the electronics and the antenna, will all come to around 30 million pounds. This is a different design of mast than the one which was there before, which was previously a cylindrical steel structure. This is a lattice design. Um, so it's a bit like a, you see a the typical mobile phone tower, but on a very, very different scale. It will weigh, when constructed, more than 200 tonnes and be 314 metres high, which it will make it one of the top 10 tallest structures in the UK. Giving con a contract here to a local company near Thursk um, who are experts in their field, keeps jobs here, 400 jobs we have here on site. I mean, to me, it's amazing we do something like this in the UK. It's huge, this place, and even more amazing, it's in my constituency. So, really important, we, we support those jobs by giving to local, local uh, experts like this. Uh, viewers and listeners can receive programmes today from the, uh, from the interim mast that we have in, in, in play, but we were very keen to fully restore service to the region as soon as possible. Typically, the construction of a mast of this size would take two years and we're trying to do it in one.